Hi guys. Yeah, something you don't uh, see that often anymore. This is a SDI GP6. And there's the SDI logo over there. And what this is, is a, let's see if we can get it in there. It's a Grand Power K100 Mark 6. So this was uh, manufactured or made in uh, Slovakia or the Slovak uh, Republic. And uh, I think the design was in 1992 and was a big hit at the time. Everybody looked forward to it. Um, I believe they still manufactured. I see on the internet there is a Grand Power USA and they still bring them in. In 2007, SDI announced that they were going to bring in 100,000 of these, and I think they, those came in in 2008, and there were several several uh, magazine reviews in 2009, etc., on uh, on these pistols. What really makes it unique is is the the lockup. It's got a rotating barrel, similar to a Beretta PX4. The pistol is also completely ambidextrous, so we got a safety on either side. Um, it's got a little detent right there that uh, kind of clicks on and off, but it's very easy to come on, uh, on and off. Also, it doesn't have a big paddle, so it, it's for those of you who shoot with a thumb on the safety, it's not possible. There's no ledge there. Uh, also, the slide release, ambidextrous on either side and the mag release so the mag release is uh, you don't have to swap the mag catch around it locks into uh, into that notch looks like the mag is used somewhere else for something else because there's also that notch there looks very similar to a CZ 75 mag but it doesn't lock in for sights it's got a a removable front sight it pins in looks like a Smith & Wesson revolver type that same uh, system and then drift adjustable at the rear it's got a set screw over there and then it's got a three dot sighting system hammer fired plastic trigger plastic safety <coughs> serrations up front serrations in the rear See Grand Power on the website, they list uh, essentially the same pistol is still listed. Uh, this is an old one, this is the SDI one from the 2007-8 uh, uh, import. Currently they even make a striker fired one with no safeties. The trigger pull on it is really nice. It's got a short uptake and then a very uh, crisp release and then very short reset double action long not really hard but smooth the takedown procedure is a bit weird on it it's kind of like a Makarov or a Walther PPK you got to push forward on the trigger guard to get it out there and then lift it out lift up on it until it sits on the frame like that then you got to pull all the way back lift up at the back and come forward off the uh, off the frame it's got a captive guide recoil spring captive guide rod that guide rods held in by that pin which is the slide release pin and it's got like a chassis inside like a um, like a fire control unit nearly and I'm not sure if it does pull out like that I doubt it and uh, it's got a pin over there probably have to pull the slide stop out to get all of that out and there's a pin there and there's a big roller over there and we'll get to that in a minute the barrel is the weirdest setup you've seen it's got this round locking lug and it's got this funny angled surface now unlike the Beretta which has got a cam track 
on the on the barrel and then a, a, a pin on the locking block that interacts with that cam track which rotates the barrel it's this surface that rotates the barrel so that surface rides on that roller so it uh, it you get that effect so it's locked up there on the that lug is facing the top the slide and the barrel move back together while the barrels rotating and then the flat surface is on top which means it can get out of that locking uh, lug there there's a a recessed area there and when it's there and the barrel has come to the rear, most rearward position and then the slide will run back coming forward it will uh, pick up the barrel and rotate and that that will turn back into that lug that's how it works really a, a weird way of doing it and uh, funny looking uh, looking barrel on the slide it does appear there's a firing pin block right over there the firing pin block interacts with that if you watch that you'll see that will move up and I'll pull the trigger ever so slightly and all it does is it pushes up on that allowing the firing pin to go forward reassembling the pistol is not that easy and I suppose it will get easier the more you do it but uh, I've never had one of these apart so to me it is uh, it does take some practice so you need to get the uh, the barrel into the slide with that camming surface to the front recoil spring goes onto the captive recoil rod and you got to get that in over there and the barrel has to stay in the forward position so it's a lot easier to just let it hang down and then you got to get that recoil rod through the little hole in the front of the slide and then pull back all the way to the back and hook it over the, uh, the frame and then push that back in and push it up and there you go guys just something different and something weird and just a bit weird from a technical design perspective hope you guys found that interesting stay safe we talk again cheers